love your outfit. That's so you. cute. Thank you. Thank you. How old are you again? 14. 14. We are ready. So I know I've talked to you about all of this, but I'll have you kind of reinstate, um, of course reinstate the question that I ask you, please, but I'm gonna ask you a lot about your character. Yeah, the camera's right behind that. Right there. <laughs> Hi, Hi how, how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm so sorry. Jill. Man, I was trying to get her in here because we were, oh, no, you know, I was, rolling I up in here. Oh, I was like, okay. Oh, you are fine. Saying. Stepping in. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm no, so okay. That's okay. Right. And now I'm out of your way. You are all guys, I'm gonna wait good. outside. Well, you can sit there if you want. I need to take a call. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, great. Of course. Yeah. So cool. Thank y'all for having us. Oh my gosh. Thank there. you for coming. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. All right. So we'll first start out by um, talk about sort of the premise of Let It Shine. Okay. The, well, the story of Let It Shine is. It's like a teenage version of Cyrano de Bergerac. And I know a lot of kids would say that they didn't know what that story was, because I didn't know either. I went to look at Roxanne, the Steve Martin version, so I, I could sort of get filled in and what the story is. But what we do in the movie is we tie in a good message, we put hip-hop and gospel in it, and we make it so that kids and teenagers can understand it. Very cool. And your character? My character is Roxy, and she's this bigger-than-life pop star, but what people really don't see is that she doesn't have a lot of confidence. She's really insecure, and she tries to please her manager by wearing whatever she's told, saying whatever she's told, and she doesn't stand up for what she wants to do with her own career. But she gains all this confidence when she goes back to her hometown to find her true self. When she's judging this rap contest that, of course, Chris and Cyrus enter, there's this big mistaken identity, and all this confusion happens and then she figures out that truth, this person that they made up, was a lie. And so she's not happy about that at all. But then um, she just, she gains all this confidence and she falls in love with the true person. I'm not going to tell you. And um, it's a good ending though. <laughs> There's a lot of talent on set between you and Trevor and Tyler. Mm -hmm. Tell me about kind of all the music, let's talk about the music and kind of how you guys all together for the music? Well, the music, it's funny how we didn't really, we weren't really together when we were recording it. It was a bunch of, a couple weeks of recording and Tyler was in LA. I was sometimes in Tennessee and then other times I went to LA and so it's funny but we weren't really there with each other recording so it's crazy how it all worked together even, even though we weren't really like talking to each other or we weren't really like in that mode of being together, it just worked out really well. Can you talk specifically about some of the music and some of the songs? Oh yeah, some of the songs we have, um, What I Said, and it's funny that my brother, he's 27, he's adopted, he wrote the rap for What I Said. So that was really awesome, and um, that's a really fun song. I love that song. It's so much energy, and the rapping, and the dancing, and I don't know if you've seen the music video, but the costumes are off the jig. It's awesome. And then, So Good to Be Home is the gospel song when I come back to the church and I say to everybody that I know I haven't been here for a long time, but this still is my home and I remember this and I'm always going to know that I can be myself when I'm here. And then, the pastor doesn't really like that, so he gets pretty angry, but it's still a really good song and at the end, you know, he, he, so he accepts me for who I am. And the pastor is, is Tyler's dad yes. in the movie, right? Mm -hmm. Very cool. And um, tell me about working with Tyler and, and Trevor. It was so much fun getting to work with them. Of course, Tyler, he was so experienced, and so I got to learn so much from him. He taught me and Trevor a whole bunch about, um, you know, movies and techniques and stuff that can improve your craft and stuff like that. So it was really good working with him. And Trevor was the jokester on set, definitely. Whenever somebody asks us who the jokester was, we always say Trevor. He was crazy. He was a blast to hang out with. And I don't know if you guys know, but even though he's an awesome dancer on the show, on the movie, he can really sing. I didn't know if you guys knew that, but he can. So that was cool to learn, too. And you got your start with Radio Disney, pretty much. I mean, had you done a lot of acting and singing before? No, I had not. I mean, I would sing whenever, just for fun, but I hadn't done anything serious like this. I remember one time I did a nutrition commercial. Oh my gosh, I was like eight years old. It was the worst thing ever, but that was like my first time doing it. And even though it was something really small time, I didn't care. I just loved just doing this and being a part of something like this. But now everything has gotten really good. I'm really happy. 
Tell me about um, being at, you guys were in, we were in Atlanta mm -hmm. for the set. Tell me about being there for the movie. I loved being in Atlanta. One of my favorite parts about being in Atlanta was that my family got to come up from Tennessee and watch, and from South Carolina. I was born in South Carolina and live in Tennessee, so all my family got to come up and see behind and see all the scenes and how they created and stuff and see me doing stuff live that I love. It was a great experience for them. Very cool. Who are you listening to right now? Who do you like? Hmm. I like Carly Rae Jensen. I was listening to Mindless Behavior. Hmm, Rihanna, Let It Shine songs. <laughs> what song, what, what do you think is going to be your, your summer anthem? Summer anthem? Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know, I haven't heard that, that song yet that will be my summer anthem. Maybe, maybe Who Done It with Adam Hicks. I was, I was singing in it too, but maybe that song. I don't know, I haven't had a really good like summer song yet. How's it go? Who got the party started? Who got the party rocking? Who done it? Who done it? Who done it? <laughs> Perfect. What about your, um, do you have a music crush? Music <laughs> Music crush. Hmm. Huh, I guess I could say, I don't know, Miles' behavior. Jane Smith. I don't know, because honestly, though, when I was on the set of Let It Shine, I was working with Trevor and Tyler, and they're cute, but I mean, not like, they're my brothers. They're like my brothers, but mm hmm. They are really cute. Um, what about um, like a, your dream collab? Who would you like to work with as a musician? Hmm. A dream collab would be maybe do a song with hmm, uh, Justin Bieber. Um, Beyonce. I want to do a song produced by Missy Elliott and um, Will I Am because he he is awesome. And um, I don't know, maybe Jacob Lattimore, Diggy Simmons, mm -mm, Trevor. Yeah, he's gonna be big, huh? Yeah, that'd be a good clap. You guys need to do that. Yeah, right. We talk about it all the time. We just never do it. We have said so many songs. We just never do it. What about your favorite Bieber song? Boyfriend. Definitely. How's it go? <laughs> um, I'd like to be everything you want. Hey girl, let me talk to you. If I was your boyfriend, never let you go. You know, I know you know the song. <laughs> I just want you to sing. <laughs> um, what about, um, what was I going to ask you? I had a good question for you. Well, let's talk about you getting your start. Like, what was your first performance, like, singing and on stage? How did you get started in music? Well, my first performance, performance, I was seven years old, and I sang America the Beautiful at a play in, at this little school called Pixie School in Tennessee. It was where I went to kindergarten. So I sang the America the Beautiful song, and that was my first time. My mom told me that I was so excited to go on. I kept bugging her, and they were doing their play over there, and I was like, Mommy, when is it my turn, my turn? She was like, would you hold on one second? It was so much fun. But um, I remember all the pictures and stuff, and um, that was my first performance. And how I got started in the music business? Well, I sang the national anthem at a Rams game. I was nine years old when I did that, and my mom put the video on YouTube just like, just anything. She never really thought it would change my life, but it got a million views. And one of the people that saw it was Radio Disney and Disney Channel. And they asked me if I wanted to be part of Next Big Thing. And so, of course, I was like, yeah. So I did that. And now I've done guest, guest episodes on Good Luck Charlie and So Random. I have songs on the Shake It Up soundtrack and I have a lot of shine. Aside from music and acting, what do you like to do? Do you have any other hobbies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like to play with my dogs whenever I'm not working. I have two dogs. One's a big old lab and one's a little Yorkie. His name's Tiger. And um, I like to sew. I don't know, but for some reason I got into this Raven Simone mode. So now I'm trying to be a fashion designer like she was. But so um, that's one of the things I do. And write music. I, at first I wasn't really good at writing music. And now that I've been practicing and practicing whenever I just have free time, I'm starting to get really good at it. Oh, and one thing else that I started to do on my free time is learn Spanish. I have Rosetta Stone, so maybe I'll be speaking Spanish. <laughs>
And what about your, um, your personal style? Personal style. Well, whenever I'm wear working, I wear stuff like this and all the blinged out jewelry, but whenever I'm not working, you would not know at all that I was Coco Jones. I wear sweats, I have my hair up in a ponytail, headband, I have glasses, and you would not even know it was me. But this is sort of my style like when I'm working and stuff like cool, cute, skinny jeans, maybe a cute blazer, of course my blingage, gotta have that. <laughs> Where is that blazer from? I love it. I have no idea. I, my mom just got this. What do you think is going to be the summer trend? Hmm, summer trend. I hope it's wedges. Is that is that already like a summer trend? Well, it goes in and out. that's my favorite thing about summer is those wedges. And those are the only heels I'm allowed to wear, so I love them really much. <laughs> what do you predict for fall trends? Oh, fall trend. Let's get back to school trend. Hopefully, I like um, those circle scars. You know, the ones that are just a big old circle. I don't have one, but I want one. So maybe that'll be a cute fall trend. Maybe, um, um, what are they called? They're like little hats. They don't, they're like, I think they're like skull caps, but they're not. So like a girl version of a skull cap. <laughs> and back to the movie, what do you think everyone's going to love about Let It Shine? I think since there are so many good messages in it for everybody. There's a message for the parents. You know how Cyrus was a preacher's kid and he wanted to do rap music and you know his parents weren't behind that. Even though he was trying to share a piece of himself with them, they wouldn't accept it. So they had to learn how to just be behind him and let him live his life. So hopefully parents will learn from that. Girls need to know, like from Roxy, how to find courage in themselves. And I know sometimes you want to be a part of the crowd and you want people to say that you're okay, but you just gotta you know, stand up for yourself. And sometimes it may be hard not to follow the crowd, but you'll like it better in the end, so girls need to know that. And of course, the boys need to know their message too, about how to just find their self-truth, because he didn't know who Chris was. But then he had to figure out who he was and let that other lie go, because that wasn't who he really was. So everyone needs to learn from it. So I hope everybody likes it. It's a good way to learn something, but also have fun while you're learning it. Perfect. You give us a couple of liners to camera. Sure. Um, just say your name and make sure to tune in to Let It Shine on Disney Channel. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Coco Jones, and make sure to tune in to Let It Shine on Disney Channel. Let's do it one more time. I got a little noise on the on the mic. Yeah, the vacuum. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Yeah. Loud day or. <laughs> yeah. Do you want me to go talk to him? No, it's fine. It was just like I think it was like um, closed more than anything. All okay. right. Okay. But it's it's good now. Oh. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Coco Jones, and you make sure to tune in to Let It Shine on Disney Channel. Cool. And just one, you're watching Fan La La. Okay. You're watching Fan La La. And then your name, and you're listening to Fan La La Radio. Okay. Hey guys, I'm Coco Jones, and you're listening to Fan La La Radio. Maybe La La. One more. Um, say your name, and I La La. Do you La La? Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Coco Jones, and I la la. Do you la la? Cool. Perfect. <laughs>